New at 10, we're hearing from the fisherman who jumped into action to save two strangers who fell through the ice on a Walworth County lake. It happened Tuesday on Delavan Lake. Police say the rescue could have been a recovery if it weren't for their quick thinking. Kareen Zell talked exclusively with the heroes who say it's a day they'll never forget, huh, Kareen? George and Carol, police say the ATV went into the water Tuesday late morning. Now, you might remember it was rainy and extremely foggy, making the rescue very difficult. We were fishing right over on that point, right in directly in the sun there, and we could hear the screams for help this way. Before the screams, Jim Weza and Andy Bach heard a conversation from the ATV. The guy said something about how he didn't want to go any farther. He was worried about falling in. The two were ice fishing about a quarter of a mile away, but say it sounded like it happened next to them. As soon as we heard that four wheeler go through the ice and that whoosh, yeah, we both sound. looked at each other and we said that was a bad sound. Andy gave the 911 operator specific directions. They were coming right, right up here. I went as fast as my body would let me, I can say that. Jim found rope and buckets, one still left in the water, and listened since he couldn't see through the fog. Every time they would scream, I'd run a little farther. Yeah, I was a lot of anxiety. I was, I, I was walking, pacing over the place. They saw one man on his back and made eye contact with the other about 30 yards away. He could see me first. He said, I see you, buddy. I see you. Jim said risking his life was the only option. I couldn't get the bucket all the way to him because I was already starting to sink. Rescue workers arrived minutes later and pulled both men out alive. That would have been horrible if they would have not made it. This is something that you do. I mean, it's not, yeah, I, it's not something you think about. Police, police also commend the officers and firefighters who helped save the lives of the 31 and 66 year olds. George and Carol. Really amazing. Thank you very much, Corrine.